Hey guys, how are you? Grant right here. I am back here today for another video. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday to you guys. I uh, just got back actually from my little trip to uh, Atlanta, Georgia this past week. Um, it was an interesting time. There were some, you know, some ups and downs that happened uh, there, but it was, um, I'm glad I visited again. Um, uh, I did some uh, networking there um, and overall it was not a bad experience uh, some things could have been better as I told you guys on my Instagram but I am back here in Miami and I'm ready to get back to our reaction videos today's reaction request comes from Roderick Hinton here on YouTube who requested that I react to Amy Winehouse song rehab I have been wanting to get back to Amy Winehouse for a minute now um not too many requests for her on this channel, and I want to know why she is absolutely one of the best of all time, one of my favorite artists of all time. Such a loss to the industry when she passed. Um, she was one of those really, 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 really rare gems that only occur, you know, once every, you know, so often. We don't have too many, we don't have any like her, as a matter of fact, anymore. Um, there's a lot of artists that uh, sort of bring a little bit of that element, but Amy Winehouse was a master at, you know, what she did, um, and there will never be another like her. So I'm so happy to be reacting to this song uh, today, and I know you guys are too. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we begin today's video, as always, if you are new here, welcome to this community. I and we are happy to have you here. If you would please be so kind, hit that subscribe button. No, smash that subscribe button. There is tons of content coming you don't want to miss. Give the video a thumbs up at the end and be sure to check them social handles in the drop down box below. And if you are looking for new clothing, I have new merch. The link is in the drop down box below. Let's get into it. They tried to make me go to rehab I said no, no, no Yes, I've been black But when I come back No, no, no I ain't got the time And if my daddy thinks I'm fine They tried to make me go to rehab
selling all Man. Standing owed to the one and only Amy Winehouse. Brilliant is an understatement. Okay, guys, so there is so much I want to say on this performance, but I'm not going to try to keep it too long. Um, the one thing that I want to point out that I've said in other videos is Amy Winehouse, her ability to tell a story, her storytelling ability, second to none, like no other. And the thing I loved so much about Amy Winehouse was something that was similar to people like um, Janis Joplin, um, was that she channeled things that were actually happening to her through her music. She wasn't talking about bullshit that everybody else was talking about, trying to fit a, a mold, trying to, you know, fit in. She was actually expressing things that she was going through. And that's something that's so rare in the industry, I think, because record labels, especially with artists, um, if there is a trend of a topic that people are talking about in their music, nine times out of ten, you can best believe the record label is going to push that on an artist, no matter what they want to talk about. And the record label is going to tell them, this is the formula we want you to follow to sell these records. This one you're going to be talking about on the record. Amy Winehouse wasn't having that. She kept to her guns. She spoke about real shit that was actually happening to her. Even if some people didn't like it, even if some people didn't approve of it, Amy Winehouse was bringing that to the table, and that is real. That is what music is supposed to be about. That's what it used to be about. And I am just so grateful that she was able to bless us with that before she left this planet. I've said this also before with Amy Winehouse. She was one of those um, artists that was naturally soulful. She didn't have to do a bunch of different trills and riffs. I love all that stuff, but at the end of the day, if you don't sound like that at the base of a performance, I don't see what the point in, you know, trying to prove that you're soulful with all of these other, uh, you know, techniques uh, is good for. Amy Winehouse, the moment she opened her mouth, soul just poured out of her, you know what I mean? She didn't have to riff, she didn't have to belt, she didn't have to screech, she didn't have to scream, she didn't have to growl, none of that. That's all great, but that does not mask um, whether you... Uh, you know, were born with natural soul in your voice or not. Amy Winehouse, one of the most soulful of all time. The moment she opened her mouth, um, and like I said, it just poured out of her. Um, and it was, she had a very unique take on, you know, soul music, uh, jazz music. Uh, she had her own way of expressing it. She added her own, you know, unique individuality on it. And like I said, never be another like her again. What I loved this song is probably her main signature. She had so many underrated gems that I could go on for hours talking about here. But this song really, really, really put her on the map, obviously, commercially. Um, and I think one of the things that did so was what I just said before. The fact that um, she was talking about something real. Um, and unfortunately, it was what, you know, you know caused her demise. But um, at the same time... Uh, so many people, you know, could relate to the song. It was like one of those songs that, you know, maybe seven, eight of, out of ten people in the world could relate to at some point in another um, with, you know, drinking and, you know, not wanting to, you know, come clean, not wanting to become sober, but at the same time wanting to. It's like a, a nonstop conflict with yourself. Um, and, like, that's like one, one of the things that people loved about her was she, she was just so relatable um, and, you know, w when you went to an Amy Winehouse concert, you would be singing the lyrics, not just to sing to their song, but you would be actually be able to be singing something that you could actually, you know, relate to. You, that's something that maybe you've been through, and that's really, really special. And in this video, what I loved was that they brought those elements of live music to a very casual settings. She wasn't on a humongous stage, uh, like in a lot of videos. She was on steps. She was, like, in, you know, corridors. She was on a bed. But they were still playing instruments um, in these settings. And that is something that's really, really important to me. Because like I said, today, nine times out of ten, um, music is made. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. But music is made nine times out of ten on a laptop. Sometimes you can make it on a phone now. And I feel the industry has really lost touch with the element of live music. Um, and I'm just so grateful that they brought that sort of, uh, you know, look into this video when they didn't have to. It could, she could have just been walking and doing, you know, whatever by herself. Um, but they added those, uh, you know, people playing instruments in the video. And I thought that was an amazing touch. 
Another humongous round of applause for the amazing Amy Winehouse. I could go on and on talking about her for hours, but I don't want to make it too long for you guys. Um, I am so, so grateful that we revisited her today. I've been wanting to get her back on this channel for so long. I love her. Absolutely one of my favorites. Um, please, guys, if you have Amy Winehouse requests, bring them. Bring them to the comments. Get me on the comments. Let's talk about it. I'll be happy to add them to the lineup, and I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video as much as I did. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys, for this reaction video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I know you want to. There's tons of content coming you don't want to miss. If you are new here and you want to support this channel, and I hope you do, find me on Patreon. Subscribe for a low monthly premium to have inclusive access on content you won't find anywhere else. And or leave me a donation via Cash App. Details will be in the drop-down box below. I'm out of breath. And you guys know the deal. If you want me to react to something, leave your requests in the comments down below. I will add them to the lineup. Love you all. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Keep that positivity going. We need all we can get in this world. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.